Hey, Big Smoke, and uh, whoever else is going to have fun playing with some Makuni Solexes, I'm going to do my best to give you a few things to uh, look for. Uh, I think I remen remember mentioning in my email to you that, uh, I mean uh, on the YouTube, that uh, underneath here we have our jet packs, and they have a tendency, the uh, jet holders have a tendency to unscrew themselves. Uh, so all of a sudden you will uh, lose idle and the car will die. So make sure that these, uh, these uh, jets are screwed back in, in real tight. In fact, I got to the point where I put a little Loctite on, on the, the one that kept coming apart all the time. Now then, let's, uh, let's talk about the, obviously the float system. Uh, you, can, we can, uh, you can see we got some specifications right here for the floats. Make sure that's in good shape. Make sure your needle and seat are uh, working properly. Then that uh, if they're not working properly, it's a matter of dirt probably. Now then, we're going to discuss the what they call the pilot jets, pilot screws. And here is a picture of the pilot screws, and this is what they look like in real life. And what these are are what other people call the idle mixture screws. And what you do is you screw these things in until they bottom out, then back them off. And most carburetors are designed to be backed off one and a half turns. But I've got a note here: uh, the usual amount to turn out pilot screws one and a half turns. I've seen Makuni's need as much as four turns. So that is something that you need to be aware of. That uh, you can. Um, you have to turn these things back out more than one and a half turns. Now, when you screw them in, just screw them in so that all of a sudden they just stop. They just bottom out. You do not, in fact, you can see right here with my, I'm just using two fingers, two fingers to, to stop to, uh, to uh, screw it in. Do not wrench down on these things because what will happen is the uh, tapered brass pin. A tapered needle will uh, bu bulge out the hole down here and screw up your orifice. And so you, you, you hit it, you run it down to where it stops, and then you back off your half, half. There's one and a half turns. Now that's normal for most carburetors, but it's possible you could go out as much as two to four turns. But you won't know that until you start experimenting, and it's going to be frustrating to try to figure out how many turns to run this thing out to. Now then, you were saying you had a bad idle. And idle, okay, the pilot system, all right, the pilot system is designed to supply the proper amount of mixture for the engine at idling and low medium speeds. The pilot system comes, let's see, we don't have to worry about the pilot system in two different versions, okay. The pilot jets are um, obviously associated with the pilot screw, and so what we've got is where are those pilot jets? Uh, pilot jets are. So where are the pilot jets? It says it's pilot jet right here. What is that? It's not the same thing as a pilot screw. Pilot jet. Okay, it's just trying to confuse me. Hmm. Let's look on here. Pilot jet. And here's all the um, jets I was talking about that uh, can unscrew themselves. Pilot jet. Ah, here we go. Thank you. Pilot jet is un inside underneath the uh, float bowl cover. So you would remove the float bowl cover and you're going to make sure these passageways are clear. Um, also associated with the pilot jet, there is, um, no, okay, just, just keep those, those clean. All right, next up is the accelerator pump circuit and the accelerator pump, okay. Maybe I'll let you read this. OK. 
Okay. Accelerator pump uh, the nozzle, there's a uh, check ball inside here, and that check ball will oftentimes um, stick. And all it is is just a, a stainless steel uh, ball bearing. And you have to make sure that is not sticking. Um, so when you accelerate, you are going to get fuel coming out of Now let's see, let's get a, okay, maybe you can see that brass, piece of brass sticking out, can't do this with, okay, let's see what we can do over here, all right, here we go, this brass right here, is sticking out, a brass tube, that's the accelerator discharge nozzle, and it has a very, very tiny hole in it. It's like a pinhole. And what happens when you goose the throttle, you should hit, get a solid stream of fuel, like a little needle point, just shooting right out of the throat of the carburetor, right down into the uh, intake. And you can check this by just holding the carburetors up with uh, gasoline or um, mineral oil and or solvent, and then you accelerate the carburetor and you should get a stream of fuel going right out in, in a very nice strong needle uh, spray uh, needle pattern well just a, a very fine uh, stream of fuel and if you're not then obviously you you, uh, you have uh, problems your uh, in your accelerator pump circuit so that you're addressing two problems I believe uh, idle you were telling me and then you didn't have good acceleration so You've got dirt in there. It's got to be dirt. Um, make sure, obviously, all the, the jets are clean. All these air, uh, air jets. Let's see, obviously, you got your fuel filter, so make sure that's clean. Uh, make sure the pilot screws, uh, these are the idle mixture screws, the needles that uh, screw in until they bottom out and then back off one and a half to four turns. Make sure this needle is in good condition. It hasn't been boogered up by somebody screwing it down too hard. Uh, all your other jets, uh, this, uh, I believe that may be the ball bearing right there I was talking about underneath this weight, and that's going to go in this hole right here. Uh, obviously, the accelerator pump has got to work only if the um, diaphragm and the gaskets are, are in good condition. Uh, and back here in the pump weight in the ball that I was telling you about. Okay, so pay attention to the, those those items right there. Um, very important. This is another possibility that could be. I've seen this happen to people with Weber's and Macunis. The, the the discharge nozzle that I was telling you about that brass discharge nozzle down there with a tiny hole in it, that is indexed. When you go to install that in the carburetor, it has a flat on it that indexes it so it points the right way and it is possible to stick it in there incorrectly and to screw down on this hard enough to jam that um, jet in position pointing the wrong way. And um, it also has a very small aluminum o-ring seal ring gasket underneath it and sometimes those gaskets come out with the jet and sometimes they don't but the important thing is when you unscrew this you should be able to reach in there and pull this jet out with your fingertips there we go <clears throat> this is it right here and you got an o-ring underneath the uh, brass and then you've got the nozzle, the jet itself and on part of it right here it is indexed with a flat and it only goes in one way correctly. You can put it in incorrectly and screw things up but uh, so the way you can tell is if you've got it working right is when you hit the accelerator you've got a solid stream of fuel coming out the barrel. Uh, start.
starter, the uh, choke ought to be pretty straightforward. Okay. Now here's the um, here's the idle uh, the accelerator pump nozzle again. Okay, what else have we got? Inspection. Fuel level. Here's how to, uh, how to set the fuel level and the float le level rather. Okay. Here's uh, troubleshooting. Okay, so here's poor poor acceleration. All right, accelerator pump nozzle is clogged. Okay. Hope you can read these. Uh, instability at idle or no idle. Pilot screw maladjusted. Carbon buildup on the pilot screws. Think carbs not synchronized. Oh yeah, that's a that's a good point. Um, <laughs> synchronization. You're going to need to synchronize these things, and what you're going to use, I think you've seen on my videos, is the synchrometer. Synchrometer. Size that I use is a BK one to one thirty five one to thirty five. So I don't know what that, that usually fits most of the common carburetors. Anyway, so exploded diagram. That's the basics right there. Just a matter of getting the uh, these things clean and uh, make sure everything is, is working correctly. And then these are real darn good carburetors. They should work just fine. Should be no problems. Good luck.